And you cannot blame them because they're good. They're pretty. It's something that worked for them. You don't let me educate you. No matter how noisy the world gets, no matter how loud the world gets, our goal is simple. Influence and, and activate. You can always be louder. Be louder. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Louder Podcast. It's me, the Josh. And of course, we are here to talk about another great topic dito lang sa super amazing podcast. This is where we teach you how to be limitless, optimistic, united, disruptive, extra, and relentless. Today, we're gonna talk about the one topic na sobrang gustong pag-usapan ng mga tao. It's all about money and wealth, baby. That's right. And a lot of Filipinos, madami sa atin, we are so concerned about what real wealth is. If you look around you, we're gonna talk about, oh, paano ba yumaman? How to stay rich? But really, ano nga ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng wealth? And what is stopping people? What is stopping Filipinos from being super wealthy? Today, I'm joined by a super beautiful, smart, and amazing woman. Naks, grabe na. She's a leader, a business owner, a real estate investor, and she is a financial coach of one of the best, if not the best, financial institutions here in the country. Shout out to all the light yellows out there. <laughs> Everyone, I'm joined by Coach Janelle Sigatin. Yay! Hey, hello, everyone. You, you have no idea how important this take is. Because... <laughs> Kasi pangalawa na to, guys. A- a- ako naniniwala ako. Ako naniniwala ako. Everything happens for a yes. reason. Right? Sometimes second chances are better. Yes. You know? May third pa nga daw eh. Pero third sana chances. wala na. Wala na. <laughs> Dito wala na. Tuloy na to. Janelle, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you, everyone. Right? Thank you for inviting me as your guest. Yeah, excited. And, you know, today, I just want to go ahead and share to all our viewers right now. Uh, number one, you have really impacted, you know, my life being my financial advisor. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you have impacted the life of the lives of a lot of people. Mm-hmm. It's because you teach about finance, you teach about wealth, yes. you teach about coaching, mm-hmm. no? I just want to ask, no? Because now, here in the Philippines, when we when people think about wealth, when people think about money, still, kahit pa pano, tabu topic pa siya. Yes. Right. It's still a tabu topic. From your perspective, because you're a wealth coach, right? Yeah. What do you think is the number one problem of Filipinos mm-hmm. when it comes to wealth? For me, is the money blocks. Okay. So we have a lot of money blocks that we were programmed yeah. when we were a child. Okay. Yeah, yung mga natutunan natin sa mga magulang natin mm-hmm. or grandpas, grandparents, tito, titas, and it was instilled to us and mm. unconsciously, okay, nagagawa natin siya. Right. Unconsciously. Right. Yeah. Talk to me about those money blocks. Give me like samples kasi money mm-hmm. tapos block i assume yeah. na parang harang siya yeah right? it's a block it's something that's limiting you to your potential yeah it's a it's a mindset it's a belief it's the reason why you haven't experienced the real abundance of life when it comes to finances relationship creating wealth because mm-hmm. of this programming as right. a child who programs us Adults. Adults. <laughs> yeah. Parents natin. Ganun. Yeah, and you don't have to feel bad, ah. Baka okay. mamayong okay. makikinig na ito, sabihin. Diba, magula oh, natin. <laughs> Mommy, daddy, kasalanan mo to. <laughs> right. Diba? No, guys, there's no school yeah. in being a great parent. Diba? Yes, it's not their fault. Yeah, way back, there's no Google, there's no Facebook. So, they just loved us the best way they know how. Kumbaga, tama ba, no? Kumbaga, yung mga tinuturo nila sa ating behavior... Malamang sa malamang, it's also a behavior that they learned yeah. from the generation yeah. before them. It's something that worked for them. Yeah. yeah. And you cannot blame them because they're good. They're pretty much good. Right. Uh, they're pretty much well. And right. But right now, we're in a space of, you know, digital transformation. Yeah. People are woke, <laughs> woke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people... There are a lot more options. Mm, yeah, more options. Okay, yeah. Uh, madaming mga mas nakakatanda sa atin. Mga nasa boomer stage, yes. right? Madami sa kanila yung hoarder. Mm-hmm. Yung kumbaga, they, they try to keep a lot of things. Uh, very sentimental. Very sentimental. And they try to repair things as much as possible. I That's think may effect yun. Kasi ngayon dito sa mundo natin, like we we have our generation, mm-hmm. right? And and maybe to everyone who's listening right now, majority of us, if you're, you're in Spotify, Spotify, you're probably a millennial. No? So, yes. <laughs> if you're listening to a podcast, you're probably yes. a millennial. But even if you're not, we can all agree that 
somehow ta yung generation mm-hmm. na mas bago we have the mindset that everything is replaceable yes. that there is abundance grabe yung non attachment <laughs> oh di ba lahat kaya mo replace right yes i think that's the real beauty of life that's yeah. the real life way back It's all about being attached. Yeah, tama. For me, being in a space or in a state of attachment kasi, mm. it means you're living in a space of scarcity. Yes, yes. Tama. Yeah. But with non-attachment, non-attachment for clarity, it's not about being emotionless. Oh, yeah. okay. okay, hindi, hindi, hindi ka manhid. Yes, okay. it's not about that. Non-attachment right. means whatever I give out to the world, if it doesn't come back to me the way I expect it to be, On. I trust God, the universe, that it will be given back to me in different shapes and different forms. forms. I mean, non-attachment means I'm just here to give love support and i trust that all is well <laughs> i yeah. love that i love that iko you're blessed mm-hmm. kasi i mean like for a lot of people hindi kakilala and even mm-hmm. if they see you they find you on social media sabihin nila oy ganda naman ito mm-hmm. feeling ko anak mayaman to Ay, no? <laughs> so, <laughs> sana <laughs> but, but but you know like you, you come from a family of financial coaches as well yes. So I assume you're exposed to that at an early age. Yes, yes. But also, uh, nakikita mo din ba yung difference from someone like you na lumaki sa ganong environment mm-hmm. versus to a lot of people na hindi lumaki sa ganong environment? Oh, definitely, no? Definitely, I especially I have a big clientele. So I really saw the difference of those people who haven't experienced financial literacy at an early age. Mm. They struggle, mm. talaga. They struggle. They the especially with our age, in right. age natin. They're the ones who carry that burden. Yeah. Yung financial mishaps. Our sandwich parents. tayo. Yes, okay. sandwich generation. Actually, yeah. mo a lot of us, most of us are in sandwich generation wherein we have no choice at some point in our life to support two generations. Rabe, kung tayo yung we do the hustle, yes. we do the work. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and that's the sad part, but at the same time, a good part as well because we're being trained to be more resilient, so to be yeah. more persistent. Yeah, I think it builds our character, and it's something we're sharing to the next generation. Yeah, and I mean to think about it, ako nga, like I was expecting when I met you, no, parang yeah. sabi ko like you know she's someone who actually doesn't need to work. Mukha lang. Ang galing ko lang talaga magdala. Kasi <laughs> syempre financial coach ka, no? So, nagtuturo ka ng financial literacy. Ay, hirap naman kung mukha kang kailangan. <laughs> parang kailangan ko ng financial support. <laughs> tama, tama, <laughs> diba? Tama, diba? So, parang, I mean, like, uh, to, to a lot of people, meron pa sa kanila yung gusto nila iahawin yung pamilya nila. Mm. Right? Mm. Um, siguro, what I want to ask you right now is, how do we bring this literacy to people right now? Mm. What's, kasi, A lot of people, I think the first thing, even if we try to educate them, nung, nung pandemic, I sorry, not pandemic, nung election, okay? Mm, yeah. Bawal mo offend sa lahat na nakikinig. Nauso yung, let me educate you. Oh. <laughs> diba? Yeah, so, okay, yes. But yes, it's hard yes. to educate. It's yeah. hard to educate if the mind is not open. Yeah, that's why you don't let me educate you. You ask. Okay. Are you open to... You don't force. Yeah, you don't wow. force. And for me, you ask. that person if he or she is open for mm-hmm. an advice a suggestion and when you give advice sometimes kasi natutunogan natin yan eh okay okay sometimes when we give education we can feel that this person has an agenda to prove that he's right mm-hmm. the ego to be right the ego to be needed the Come ego on. to look good the ego that I'm great parang gusto niya lang ako i-eat down Yes. Okay. Gusto niya i-up yung sarili niya yes. by putting me down. Yes. That's why some people find it offensive because that's what's the energy that has been transpiring. Eh, nafe-feel lang tao yun. Nafe-feel yun ng tao. But yeah. for me, yes, definitely you can educate people when it comes to financial literacy. Basta come from a space of being genuinely concerned. Great. Just come from a space of love and compassion because when you come from a space of love and compassion, again, you are not attached to the outcome. Mm. You don't feel bad if this person wouldn't absorb the way you want them to absorb the thought. Yeah. But you're just there to support. And for me, if that person hears or hear about that, feeling ko ma-appreciate nila. Mas magiging open sila. Sige nga, let's Kasi sila din yung may gusto. Yes, because they 
feel that the goal when you educate is, is to love the them. person yeah. shouldn't feel that he or she is being judged. Right, 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 right. Because the moment that person feels na I'm not being judged, that I am in a safe space. Yeah. So sige, let me learn more. Let me hear you more. For me. It's But, like there's this atmosphere of genuine care. Yes. And people feel that. Yes. In in any environment, sales man yan, or teaching man yan, or education man yan. Right. It's all about energy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. And and to a lot of you guys, now maybe you're listening. Energy weird, naman yan, But it's real. Like you guys can feel our energy even just by watching this video or listening mm. to this podcast, right? Uh, Janelle, I want to ask you this question. Okay, no? let's let's go back a bit mm. to money blocks. Yeah. Madaming Pinoy ang um, literally lunod na lunod sila sa money blocks. Yes. And maybe a lot of people listening to our podcast mm-hmm. already have heard of a lot of these things. I'll give you an example. No. Money is the root of all evil. Yeah. Pang mayaman lang yan. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko haya yan. I'm not right? capable. I'm not capable. I'm not enough. I'm not enough. That's why dalada na nila to. They bring mm-hmm. this from mm-hmm. childhood until mm-hmm. where they are right now. That's why they're right. stuck there. Yes. Right? If there were three points or three things or affirmations that you want to tell the listeners right now. Mm-hmm. And let's pretend that the microphone that you have will speak to every ear in the world. Nox. Yan, ano? At sabihin natin, Pinoy mo na. Pinoy mo na. Yeah. Ano? To, to 170 million Filipinos. 170 million Filipinos. Yeah, yeah. So, kunyari yung microphone na yan, automatic marinig ng mga tao yung sinasabi mo. What are some three points that you want to share to them that's going to convince them or at some point remind them na, hey, kaya mo. It is yeah. possible. You can get out of that rut that, you know, wealth is for you. Abundance is for you. Yeah. Money is for you. It's not against you. Yeah. I think I want to address first the number one money block, which is the money is the root of all evil. Right. So I think it's a Filipino culture, yeah. especially way back sa childhood natin, telenovelas, movies. It's all about ang bida laging mahirap, ang bida na mahirap laging kinakawawa, laging yeah. inaape ng mayaman. Mm. At ang storyline is biglang yayaman yung mahirap, hihirap yeah. yung mayaman at magre-revenge. <laughs> so we were programmed that being rich is bad. Mm. We were programmed na, ah, oh, ganyan pala pag mayaman, sumasama yung ugali. Right. So we have this in, um, programming na, oh nga, ayoko maging mayaman kasi natatakot ako baka sumama yung ugali ko. But again, no, If I want you guys to remember this, that if you are intrinsically good, alam mo sa puso mo na mabuti kang tao, having more money will make you a better person. Wow. Okay? And if you know to yourself na you are intrinsically bad, okay, then making more money will really make you a worse person because money is an amplifier of mm. a character. of a person. That's good. So that's for me, that's one thing that I want you guys to break into. That it was just instilled to us. It's just a Filipino culture. Right. And number two is we are capable of experiencing wealth, experiencing mm. abundance in life. Why? Because that's how we are designed here in this earth. Okay? If if I can go biblical around it, it's there Choose to be the light, be the light in this chaotic world, be the great person in this nation and build a great nation. Diba? It's it's there already, and that's our purpose in life. And I don't think God or the universe wants us to experience difficulties. Yeah. Yan siya. I don't think hindi ganun kasama si Lord. He's a loving niya father. Mag-suffer. <laughs> yeah, he is the loving father for, yeah. for us, no? And last is, it's all about your environment. Mm, tell me about that. Yeah. One thing that I've learned is theory of space. Okay. Have you heard about that? Theory so who, of space. Is it like who you surround yourself with? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you're the average of the five people right. you're with. But when you go deeper about theory of space, it's about, ano to, hindi lang to sa pera in all aspects. In everything. Even, Even if you have, example, you're a father right yeah. now, you have a relationship right now. Kung ano yung average quality ng relationship na meron sila, yeah. yung mga kasama mo sa finances, kung ano yung average income ng mga lagi mong nakakasama, yun yung ceiling mo. Wow. That's your maximum. Wow. Yeah. Yan siya. So like, if you're poor, you hang around with poor people, you're gonna stay poor. Yeah. If you if you want to check your maximum income potential, check the people around you. 
check the income average yan lang yung box sa maximum ay, ay, i like that get dikit tao sa iyo dikit din ako sa iyo dikit tayo no dikit yeah i mean this is good this is good yeah, even in relationship right. even in relationship if you want to resonate not just attract care yeah. I, i want to share nga later yes, resonate yeah. if you want to resonate great relationship around you you have right. to make sure that you're surrounded with people that has great relationship yung hindi toxic. toxic. Yes. Importante. Dapat yung equally yoked together. Yes. Kayo. Yes. Um, we were program our... I don't know if you're familiar naman tayo lahat sa law of attraction. Diba? Yeah. Law of attraction. No? When so, you think of expense. Yeah. You attract who you are. But really, it's not just about the law of attraction. That's only the number two pala in hmm. life. Okay. There's number one. That's the number one. Yeah. The number one is the law of resonance. The law of resonance. Yeah. Okay. Bago. <laughs> parang resonating. That's what I'm getting yeah. from it. No? So, the law of resonance, okay. it means it's the thing that you vibrate. It's who you are as a person. Right. So if you want quality relationship, if you want a real abundance in life, you have to be that person first. You have to embody that person first. First, you have to qualify. Who do you need to become? Right. What qualities you have to step into if you want to be abundant in all aspects, great relationship. Um, like for me, I want to step on into love, being mm. joyful, being compassionate, being in full excellence, and being full commitment. Yeah. So it has to resonate. It has to feel. I have to feel it. It has to vibrate on me. Then eventually, the people, the right people, the right environment that I need for my goals to happen will just naturally come. Wow. You know, it's like a- attraction is when you think about it. Yes. But resonance is when you become it. Become it and you you attract. Naturally, they just chase after you. Right. It's like you're being a magnet. Yes, exactly. Right? Really you're, a you're magnet. You're like, you know, because like you're, you're vibrating a frequency. Yes. So, That's it. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. I don't want to say this, guys, but everyone here, you are vibrating a frequency. <laughs> we are all vibrators. But I mean, that's that sounds weird, but we are all vibrating a frequency, yeah. right? And you, you're right now, you, you tell people that you have to be at a certain frequency. Yes. But what kind of frequency should we be at hmm. to stay in our top of Okay, yeah. our top okay. game natin. Okay. So one thing that downloaded to me right now is maybe some people would say, paano ko paano ko magre-resonate ng good energy yeah. kung hirap ako sa money? So, exactly. Diba? Yeah. It's parang negative na nga ng situation. Oh, oh, ano ko yun? Para is like toxic positivity, yeah. diba? People would say that. Oh, madami yung nagsasabi niya ngayon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, positive, really. positive bullshit. Diba? <laughs> so, no. Law of resonance, it means even if alam mo, pag tinignan mo yung bank account mo, walang laman. Your energy, the way you see things life, it feels you still so much You still so you still have so much abundance in life because sobrang taas nung trust and faith mo sa, sa kay God, sa universe that everything is well taken care of as long as you just choose to be kind, you just choose to be full out every single day, just be in a state of service, doing what really matters right now which is to serve Whatever you're doing, guys, right now, the work, the job that you have right now, as long as it's making you happy, that's your purpose. That's your way of serving, giving. As long as you're not attached on give on 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 any outcomes in life, trust that everything will be provided to you, even if you're struggling right now financially. Wow, it it's really trusting that there is you know God, a higher being that's taking yeah. control. Kung baga, at a certain sense i'm enjoying this convo by the way <laughs> thank you i'm really happy that you're, you're here so parang, <laughs> hey guys by the way no if if you're enjoying this conversation do not forget to share do not forget to like and spread, spread this, this podcast, podcast to as many people as you can malay mo no yung pinag-sharean mo malaking tulong sa kanya to so yeah go ahead and share yes. this louder podcast janelle i just want to say this no a lot of people Today in this world, they are filled with so much mm-hmm. negativity. Yeah. Kaya nga yung louder podcast is it's about being louder than the noise. <laughs> yeah. It's it's about being louder than the noise. Before I ask my final question, this is my second and last. Help me understand, Janelle. Now, how do you how do you in a world that's chaotic like yeah. this? No. How do you define real wealth and abundance? 
Okay, real wealth for me is to make me knowing that I could sleep well peacefully at night, knowing that I don't have any baggages. Okay. I, I, I know to, in my heart that whoever has hurt me from the past diba? or currently, mm-hmm. I've forgiven them, I've let go of them. Real wealth for me is having a life with no baggages, just a life of full of love, acceptance, just overflowing of gratitude. That's for me is the real abundance of life. Because you can be you can be wealthy, you can have a lot of money, right? Pero yung heart mo, there's like you. It's like bigat, you're, you're carrying a big rock full of hurt, blame, anger, guilt, shame. And for me, that's not the real wealth. Right. Right. Um, right. Love that, love that. And, you know, someone like you, you're definitely in the journey towards that real wealth. You have experienced that real wealth, yeah. no? Um, there were moments, were there moments personally in your life, mm-hmm. maybe a lot of people would like to know more about you. Were there moments in, in, in your life that you carried such baggage? Oh, yeah. So, ang hirap, ang hirap mag-forgive, no? Pero, di ba, sa Bible, seven last words. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. So, every time, it's pretty normal. It's We're gonna experience that. Those critical incidents, people will betray us. May critical incident din pala sa life. Oo naman. Hindi <laughs> tayo, ano, done. Hindi tayo, na, ano, done. Yeah. Um, critical incidents such as betrayal, lies. You're gonna experience that not because you deserve it. It's because that's the best way that person know how to love you. Yeah. That's the only good thing that they know because whatever Ang that... Lang eh. Yeah. Whatever that they do to you, okay, hanggang dun lang kasi yung level of consciousness nila. Yeah. So for me, I'm now in a space of, okay, I forgive because I know, I think wala namang taong gustong gumawa ng masama sa ibang tao. It's just mm. that hanggang ganun lang yung level of consciousness. Ooh, and and programming as well, conditioning as yeah. well, no? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <sighs> this is a lot. <laughs> I, I, I know you guys are getting a lot, but Janelle, definitely this is not the last time that we're going to be here in this podcast. Yay! Yeah. But you've come a long way and you're giving so much value to a lot of people. Final question, are you ready? Mm. Okay, so again, yeah. Yeah, the final, final question, question is... is... <laughs> final question is, what does it mean to be louder for you? For me, being louder is all about you stepping into authenticity. Knowing that whatever you're doing right now, it's you embracing who you really are as a child of God, and as a child of God, it's you being in a state of love every day. Just you serving, giving, without any attachment, living a life of abundance. For me, it's me being louder. My energy, my vibration, my message is a way of being loud. That's amazing. That's amazing, guys. Come on. And that's why everyone here, you guys should be louder as well. Janelle, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Three years in the making. <laughs> yeah. We were, pandemic. Yeah, I know. Like we were 23 three years ago, right? Mm-hmm. And I cannot imagine what the next five years will look like. I, I can yeah. actually imagine it and I'm excited for it. I know yeah. that God has a lot of plans for you and a lot of plans for the people who are watching and listening to us right now. Where can they find you just in case they want to learn more about you? All right. So yeah, follow me on my Instagram, Janelle Sikitin. TikTok, I just started my TikTok. Yay! So, TikToker is na! Me, yeah, t- ano mga, may mga dance TikTok. moves ko oh, yan? Hindi naman ako sumasayaw. Ay, so, so <laughs> ano tayo? Doon tayo sa educational side. Ay, ano <laughs> so, okay, doon tayo sa whole side. Okay, okay, okay. So, TikToker is na ako. So, follow my contents. I'm Janelle Sikitin. Facebook also, um, Coach Janelle or Janelle Sikiti. So, yeah. Awesome. Hey guys, again, we just want to thank you for watching. We want to thank you for tuning in. This has been another crazy episode of the Louder Podcast. Don't forget, regardless of what happens in this world, no matter how noisy, loud, and crazy everyone else is, don't forget, you can always be, be louder. No matter how noisy the world gets, no matter how loud the world gets, our goal is simple. Influence and power. You can always be loud.